Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to destruct a model from one point to another point. So first we'll take a geometry and now just we'll go inside. And now we will use the model which has been downloaded from the internet. So I have downloaded model from the free3d.com. I will put the link in the description. So just I will import that file which I have downloaded from the internet. So in order to import that, we need to take a file node. And just we have to browse the model from here. So select this. And now this is a model which I have downloaded from the internet here. So this is the OBJ file and also it will support the FBX files. So I will select this and I will click on this accept. So now we have to fix this positions of this object here. So now the size of this object is very big and we need to change the default values of this model means like which matches to the units in the Houdini. So first of all, before that we need to clean this model. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called clean node. And just we'll connect this and we'll select here and, and just we will enable this option, remove attributes and remove groups. And just we will disable this option, remove unused points. And now what I think is we will fit exactly into the center of this origin. So in order to do that, we need to select this match size node. So select this and connect here. And now we need to make some changes. Uh, so if you come down here, there is an option called scale to fit. So I will scale to fit but the model has become very small. So we need to change the target size here in the match size. So just, I will place the value to like 10 by 10 by 10. So that's fine. And now we need to rotate this. So in order to rotate, just I will take and transform node. So just like transform. And now we will rotate uh, in 90 degrees in X axis. So let's, I will put it to like minus 90. Sorry, it's translate. So minus 90. Okay, and now we'll place this model exactly to the ground level, means like the grid level. So just I will use this Y axis so that I can move this exactly to the grid level. And now first we need to convert into volume because laterally we have to convert it into fracture by using the scattered nodes. So first we'll take a, first we'll convert this model into volume. So in order to do that, we need to take a node ISO offset and select this and connect and see, and now we need to increase the number of sample divisions. So we just will drag this and now we need to convert into points. So just, we need to take and scatter node. And now by using these points, we need to fracture the model. So in order to do that, we need to take an Voronoi fracture. And now what the thing is here, we have to connect the scatter to this input and we need to connect the model, which we want to fracture. So here, this is the transform is the final output of this model. So don't connect this file directly. So we need to connect this transform because as this is the final position of this model here. So we need to connect this transform node to here. And now you can see it has been converted into pieces. So now what the thing is, we need to fracture this model from one point to another point. So we need to specify the point from where we want to start the destruction. So in order to do that first, we need to take a node called distance along the joint along geometry and just we need to connect from this transform because this is the final position of this model here and just we will uh, select this and now here you can see there is an option called start point so we need to specify the point from where you want to start the destruction so uh, let's say here uh, start points i will select this and just we need to select this point okay so now what the thing is i want to start the destruction from this point. So I have selected this and after that we need to press enter. So see now, whenever we uh, select this thing here, it has been noted the value of this point here, which we have selected. And also you can see the output attribute name named as an distance like this. So we have to remember this. So we have to use this attribute in another node. And next, what the thing is, as I said, we need to fracture from one point to another point. So we need to give some animation. So we will give this fracture animation by using the ramp texture. So in order to do that, first we will take an attribute walk. So just select this and we have to connect from this distance along geometry. And just we need to double click and we have to go inside that. And here we need to take a node called bind first and select this. And here we have to give the name uh, which we want to change. So as I said, if you go back side and if you select this, so here the output attribute is this. So in this, we have to specify the same name. So let's say like this, enter. And now what the thing is, we need to create a parameter outside this uh, 
attribute warp node because every time going inside and giving animation, it's not possible. So just we need to create an attribute offset node so that we can able to do the animation outside this node here. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called parameter and select this. And also first we have to combine this both thing. So in order to do that, we need to take an add node. So select this and just we need to connect this distance to input. And now see it has been created another input and from this we need to connect here. And here we have to give the name of that. So in this parameter instead of this param, uh, we need to give the name called like offset. It depends, uh, you can give whatever uh, you want. And next we need to take a node called fit range. So just we'll take a fit range. So select this and we need to connect from this add node. So connect this and we need to take another node called ramp parameter. So by using this only, we will just uh, specify the point from where we want to start and we will give the animation. So just we need to connect this to input. So as I said, we need to uh, make an animation by using the color ramp here. So now this ramp has to be connected to the color of this geometry here. And see now it has been created one color over here. And now what the thing is initially, I don't want to uh, fracture. So I want to start the fracture from this point to another point. So in the ramp, there is an option like ramp type. So we will change the option to like spline ramp. So now see it has been converted to black. Black is nothing but there is no fracture. So when we make an animation slowly, we will convert this into white color. So according to that, it will create the fracture. And now we'll go back and now see if you select this attribute work and if you scroll down, see here, there is an option called offset. So whatever the thing we have created inside this, now it has been created the attribute and now we can give the animation. So before that, we need to select the first point and we have to change the value to one. So now what the thing is first, the total complete model has to be in the black color. So first we will set to black color, let's say up to here. Okay. And just change it. And now what the thing is, we need to give the animation of this offset. So starting, I want to see it totally into in black color and later it has to convert into white color. Uh, so we need to give the animation. So starting point, I will make uh, create the animation. So in order to create animation, just alt left click. So starting the value will be one and we have to decide the time. Let's say we can uh, place the timeline to hundred frames. And now we need to change this. So just we need to convert totally into white color. So just we will put up here. So let's say like minus 13. So just we need to alt left click. now. So see now it has been created the animation. So if you click play, so now it is creating the animation. So based on this animation, the model will fracture. So you will see that. And also what the thing is, see now if you uh, observe this, the gradient is smooth. So suppose in case if you want to make an harder edges, we can go to this uh, attribute warp node and here in fit, we can see there is an option like source max. So we can decrease this so that we can make an harder edges. So it depends on your requirements. So just we can change this value here. And now we have to completely export this thing. So in order to do that, just we need to take and bind export. So select this and we need to connect this ramp from this input. So just connect this. And in this bind export, we can give the name. Let's say we'll give the name like active. And now what the thing is, we need to transfer this attributes to this model here. So in order to do that, just we need to take a node called attribute transfer. So just select this. And now here we need to connect the model which you want to convert. So just this is a model here. So we need to connect here. And now we have to transfer these attributes using this node here. And here attribute, we need to select the group which you want to select this. So as we are creating the fracture by using the point, so we don't want any primitive. So just disable this. And here we have to select this active here. So means like uh, in attribute. So here in the bind, we have put the name as an active. So here the total attribute has to be transferred. So here we have to specify the same name. And now, so, so suppose if you enable this now, see, we can able to see the fracture. So initial, I don't want to see this fracture pieces. After this fracture node, we need to connect node called RBD configure so that it will show the packed geometry. So select this and now see the geometry has been packed. Now there is no fracture. And now in order to simulate just first, we need to take an 
RBD bullet solver. So just will select this and we need to connect this here and enable this. And if I click on this play, so nothing is happening till the animations has been not imported in this bullet solver here. So now what the thing is we need to import all these animations into this RBD solver. So just we need to double click on this and we need to take a node called pop wrangler. So just select this and connect this here. And now here we select this and we'll go to the inputs and just in input one, we'll select this shop. So now what the thing is, we need to transfer all the animations into here. So for that, what we need to do is first, we need to create a null node from this attribute transfer. So just we'll select this null node and we will connect here. And just we'll give the name called like output underscore active. And now uh, we have to go inside this RBD bullet solver. And here now you can see there is a path. So what the thing is in, uh, we need to select that null, which we have created. So that entire animation will be imported into this node. So here we need to select this option and scroll up direction. And just we can see there is a null. So we need to select this and we need to click on this accept. And next we need to write a code here. Uh, so based on the attribute which you have created. So if you select this attribute and based on this active, we need to write a code. So select this. And in this pop wrangler, we need to go to this option like code. And here we need to write a code. So let's say I at the rate active, which we are given the same. So make sure you have to give the same name, which you have mentioned in that node here. So equals to point zero and just like active comma at the rate like P T num point num and just we have to give the semicolon so now we will see this uh, so just first make sure you have to save this file uh, so just i will save it on desktop and now we'll go outside and just we'll select this and now we'll click on play so see now slowly it is going to start the fracture from the top point to bottom points and now there is no collision. Uh, so in RBD solver, we can create the collision. So if you come down, so if you go to this like collision option and just here you can select this ground type to ground plane and we need to change the positions. Uh, so that's fine here. So again, we will play. And see now it is going to be collide to the ground and we got the perfect animation. So in this way, we can fracture the model from the specific point by using these nodes. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.